hi guys welcome back to my channel and i want to explain to you guys what has been going on with us what has been happening and why did it take so long to record a video to you guys and it's gonna be a video just about that one of my last videos was pretty much basically after isaac was born my second son if you're new to my channel and it's the first time you're watching this video i am a mother of two boys samuel is three and eight months and Isaac right now he's currently 18 months old I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in such a long time but the year of 2020 after Isaac was born I had uh, for all the for all the videos 91 videos I have in my YouTube channel I was using uh, an internet provider that was very slow and I was able to have uh, time enough and I guess energy enough to be uploading those videos and editing and do all the work uh the issue i was having was with my internet is very was very very slow there i can put it here what was the uh speed for upload and downloading but basically every time i would uh, do editing you guys that have youtube channels or if, if you have a channel you know how many hours it takes to do editing but when i would upload a video it would be pretty much three or four days for me to be able to the, to upload the video for you guys so after Isaac was born I did not have the energy to get up in the middle of the night or and I got I guess discouraged with uh, wait three four days to be able to have a video ready and so I talked to my husband and said I'm having a lot of stress you know with the how long it's taking for for me to be able to do the, just upload one video it was just not the ideal and it was just time consuming for me so uh, we had plans for uh, for our family to move and just let's just wait and upload videos whenever we have a better internet service so we tried three or four different companies but unfortunately our house had not didn't have a good reception so I apologize to you guys that was that is the main reason that, that I stopped making videos was basically because my internet over there was like horrible there are other reasons that I want to explain to you guys the other reasons is because well COVID started in March in US and uh, there was a lot of anxiety a lot of fear I, just, I had a newborn on my hands I was like with my hands were full I had my uh, Samuel regressing with potty training he was uh, a little anxious and started um, you know like being anxious because the new baby was here and so there was a lot of challenges for me as a new mom of two kids everything together when the COVID uh, hit my husband is a nurse at the emergency room and there was a lot of like fear and anxiety going on during that year and uh, at some point we had to think what are we gonna do are we gonna just be stressed like that we're we gonna have to do something to deal and cope with the stress and cope with the anxiety that we're having and i'm sure you guys probably went through similar feelings and you know that uh a lot i know a lot of people have felt the same way with the coronavirus since it was a new um a new disease nobody knew anything about it um, but I needed uh, the time to dedicate and prioritize what was most important for me and for my family and the uh, most important for us I mean for my personal you know my for me as a mom as a wife as a as a person was to like get closer to God I know that I haven't talked to you guys about that but I'm a Christian and I believe in God and I, I I needed to to be closer to to God and have peace because I was very afraid I was like anxious and um, I didn't I did not want to continue being I didn't want to continue uh, in I say I did I did not want to stay in fear and anxiety and I know I know that God does not want me to be in fear and anxious 
and so i started like having my personal relationship with god like i started to focus my time to dedicate with god and i did that because i wanted to have peace in my mind i i, I needed to have mental health in this moment and so i did that and i focused uh that year a lot on that and uh, that also like contributed for me to have a better relationship in general but um uh, so there was a spiritual reason for me to do uh to also stop the videos because i wanted to dedicate a little bit in that relationship i wanted with uh that relationship with god everything got busier after isaac was born now i had my hand my hands were full with the kids and then uh we had the covid and all the anxiety all the fear and all everything that was going on my husband being a nurse uh the mask uh everybody freaking out about getting this disease uh, viral and deadly and this thing of like being ocd with everything that there would be from the grocery store washing every single package and sanitize every single thing that would come in the house uh, then he would put the uniform inside the washer and uh, straight from the hospital he would put it the he would get in the door the laundry was in the door one of the we had two two entrance one entrances one was the front porch and then the other one was on the side was there was a laundry and then kitchen so he would go to the laundry room get naked basically put everything in the washer start the cycle and then go straight to the shower take a very hot shower and do contrast showers with hot and cold hot and cold hot and cold three times and then like everything that he would, he would bring like wipe and wipe and wipe and after a while uh like we realized it was like that was giving you a lot of stress not just for me but also for my husband because he, he felt the responsibility as like working in the hospital and then bringing home this horrible viral uh, disease to the family and so there was a lot he also had a lot of stress upon him and uh, we uh, at some point we decided okay uh, it's gonna happen uh, we knew more a little more information about the the, the disease and so uh, by after July or and you know we decided that uh, I wasn't gonna be too strict on all this grocery. I was not, not gonna wipe anything else like from the grocery store. We were just gonna be washing our hands very carefully. It would be us would be clean, like not putting our hands on them on the, the face and taking a shower. But as far as like wiping surfaces all the time and like doorknobs and grocery stuff, we we I decided to stop because I, I wanted to have peace of mind. And then um, on October, my my husband was very stressed, still stressed with the situation of COVID, and uh, he was working more hours than normal. He was not sleeping the same hours he's supposed to. So that I I really believe that stress contributed for him to get COVID. And so in October, he it was a Friday. He felt some back pain, and he he had contact with covid patients and even people that worked with him that he knew had covid days before they came back to work and they uh he knew that he probably would have covid so he tested that same friday and the results were positive that was in october uh we were very strict in the diet and Daniel lost 10 pounds, uh, everybody co got COVID. I, I had decided with my husband that I was not gonna quarantine for him, not, neither the kids, and we were gonna get COVID, everybody together, and that's it, I, was, I refused to, and that was, I know that that's my personal decision. I respect uh, if you guys think differently, but I, that's what I decided personally. I did not want to go through the stress of quarantine for my husband, not being able to take care of my husband. What kind of wife would I feel knowing that my husband is sick and that nobody can take care of him in the house? I knew I, he needed me. And so I said, no, uh, it's fine. I'm gonna take care of you and we, we'll be fine. 
So I got COVID, I uh, tested, I went to the doctor on Tuesday and I tested positive for COVID as well. My kids, I know Samuel had a fever for one night and that was it. So I know that Samuel had COVID and I know the baby got, we all got COVID because we did not have any difference in our interactions as far as like kisses, hugs and eating like we just continue our lives normally. And uh, anyways, uh, we got mild COVID. My husband got a more serious illness. He had to go to the hospital. He stayed four nights and four days. And I can dedicate a video about just that if you guys are interested in knowing how, uh, what did we do and like what tips he would give now that he, we, we went through the same experience, but especially my husband being uh, in contact daily with patients patients um, but basically this video is just for that I know the video is very long I, I hope I I didn't bore you in any way but uh, I'm very happy to be back and I hope that I'm going to be I hope to be able to record more videos for you guys to watch so please stay tuned and uh, if you guys are new please subscribe to my channel and help me out and I'm a stay-at-home mom I don't uh, my my job is to be a stay-at-home mom and, and uh, I hope that YouTube can also be a, a way that I can help my family financially. So I would really appreciate if you guys can subscribe, like the video and I know, I understand if you maybe you don't like the video, but if you don't like the video, please don't give a thumbs down, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. Bye-bye.